Well, hey y'all, today has been an interesting day so far. I loaded up the kayak and everything, headed out to the Tennessee River to go do some catfishing and everything, and got out there and the wind was just so horrible, you just couldn't, I didn't want to fight the wind all day long just to try to catch fish. Look at all that chop on the water. Probably hear the wind. Came back home, got unloaded. Was gonna go up on the river and try to get some bass, trout, whatever up there. And uh, my best friend called me, wanted to know if I want to go fishing with him down here at this pond, the same pond I was at in my last video. I'm gonna see if we can't get some fish. So uh, stay tuned, I'll be right back. All right, so I got my Shakespeare trout spinning combo. We made a four pound test on it. Just a little J hook and a split shot. But I went and bought me some of these Nico Helgramites. Last time we were here, they were hitting rooster tails really good. The bass were. I'm gonna try these out. I got the uh, Galaxy colored. Throw one of these on, see how these work in a pond. They seem like videos that I've seen before from fishing in the lakes and rivers. They do pretty good with smallmouth and other bass. Oh, throw that down there so I don't forget about it. Mm, things are sticky. We got a little stretch to them. I've been told I've watched creek fishing adventures so much that I guess there's no wrong way to hook one of these, but I'm gonna hook it like you would a plastic worm. And go through the front. And run it up. Like so. Oh, let's see what we can do with this. I don't really know how to use this. I'm just gonna try different methods until I catch something, I guess. I'm just slowly reeling it and giving it a jerk every once in a while. Huh. Let's do a little faster this time. Huh. I cast it out towards the middle and let it sink. Just hope I don't get it hung on something. You got one? Got my little brim. Oh, there's something popping out there. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh no! Well, folks, I ain't doing no good with this Helgramite in the pond. Not yet, anyway. Oh! I missed it! What? I've had two hits. I hooked one, but he spit it.
Oh, oh, oh. I had one. Lord, these things are hard to get hooked through. Try it just through its head like that. It gives it a little more action too. What? I knew there was a big old jack carp in here. Oh, I got him. My ass. Heck yeah. First bass on the Helgramite. This thing's about three foot long, Stacy. Carp? Yeah. You got any corn with you? Oh. Take him out, yeah. Mwah. Old age or maybe a turtle. I think turning that around and just going through its head exposed the hook more so it wasn't turning in on itself helped out a lot and plus it gives it a little more action if i can just figure out how he's up in there again he got all messed up on that one twisted somehow okay well, let's see Let's go on around and see if we can't find something over here. How big was he? Seven pounds? Yeah. There we go. Heck yeah. Check him out. All right. When my Helgamite Helga done ran up, he done chased that Helgamite all the way up that string. <laughs> Check him out. Yum. To my camera. There we go. Whee! I'm getting a little bigger. Yeah, I think I'm gonna throw me a bigger hook on here. Check him out. Pretty, pretty colors. Well, I'm gonna go throw me a bigger hook on here and I'll get back with you. Yeah, so there's the size of the hook that I was just using. I'm going to switch over to that size right there. Maybe I can get more of the Helgamite up there and have more point exposed so they don't have to swallow the whole thing because I just barely had it hooked through the head of the Helgamite. So, 
let me get this rigged up and I'll get back. All right, so we got it all rigged up. We're ready to go rock and roll now. You know, I get to the pond and the wind quits blowing. <laughs> <laughs> Did your phone make that noise when you did that? Yeah, it did. I hope your camera caught that. I'm pretty sure it did. It'll catch everything. I don't know, back up here where I was catching fish. I'm going to keep fishing with this Hugamot for at least until I get around the pond, and then I'm going to switch over to a spinner or something try to see what else I can catch. <laughs> real fishing, y'all, real fishing. You ain't catching trees, you ain't catching... Well, you, you, you just ain't catching. <laughs> you gotta catch some trees, man. Well, I switched that hook out, nothing. I've got one bite. I can't land nothing. Uh oh yeah Egg you here come on baby oh no you don't oh I gotta go hunting down I'm trying to get him in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm about to. Let's see. Oh. I got him. Heck yeah. Oh, whopper plopper got him. Oh, there's another one right there. Son of a. Well, I'm trying to get my lure back. I'm going to break my line. Screw it. There we go. Got my lure back in, got my fish. All right, y'all, I got my whopper plopper back on. And let's see if we can do this again. This time without getting hung up. Too much junk on that. It wouldn't plop for me. Wouldn't flopper plop. Plopper flop, plopper pop, plop, plop, flopper pop. Heck yeah, the first fish on this that I've caught. Let's smell it. Oh, hey. That looks almost like a tree trunk. Check that out, y'all. He lobbled out of old age. He might have. That's a big old fish. His head is as big as my foot, and I wear a size 12. Shame. But he had a good life. I'm telling you, I believe old age got him. Well, maybe. Look at his fins that long. You know he's old. Yep. We're going to bring corn with us next time. I've only, I believe he might have been the only one in here. Huh. There's a lot of them, you'll see them. Yeah. And I've only seen one in here every once in a while. You got a regular cigarette on you? One. 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 Oh, no. How many do you need? One. Oh, hell, we're in luck now. All right. Go in there. Yeah, there.
No, you didn't. Uh-uh. Uh -huh. How? Seems what I lost my other lure here. How deep is this? Oh, it's too deep. This is what you do when you lose a lure in a pond. This close to the bank. I might get mine back from last week too. Oh. Oh. I just got ripped up my briars. Oh, I better put my phone. I ain't worried about nothing else. I think somebody done came out here and got my lure from last week. Oh, I grabbed the briars. All right, so I threw it on this yellow rooster tail, chartreuse, whatever you want to call them. I call them yeller. Old yeller. And there we go. <laughs> he about took the rod out of my hand. <laughs> no, it's a rock. <laughs> there you go, baby. Like I told you to put on. <laughs> I told him, I told him, I told him. What did I tell you on the truck on the ride right down here? Listen to the elders. <laughs> we ain't trying to tell you nothing bad. The moral of the story, son. Pay attention. Yeah. Now yeah, this one's not going away. I'm just charging by the pound. <laughs> I know he ain't gonna weigh that much, but I still wanna see. I wanna see too. One pound, one ounce. One pound, one ounce. Oh, I'm sinking. Let's let him go. Oh, he just swam off just so pretty. Let's see another. You got another rooster tail? Man, there's a few in there somewhere. We we'll look for them. The orange one down there. Captain John, fishing guide extraordinaire. I'll go check him out. He'll put you on some fish. <laughs> or put the fish on you one. Out will we put the fish on you. <laughs> oh. No, that's unhung. Boy, I was like, whoa. Come on now, Pawn. I'm not going after you. There we go. You straighten my hook out so I can't get. Nope, you're good. I think I just ran in some grass there. This time around, I'm going the other direction. Well, I think I've been going this way the whole time. No, last time I went the other way. I had the whopper plopper on. The whopper plopper. I just like saying whopper plopper. Whopper plopper, whopper plopper, whopper, 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 whopper. Plopper. Let's plop a big old bass right in the mouth. <laughs> 